Blender is free and open 3D computer graphics software. And in this video, I am going to explain you the origins of Blender. If you think we're going to talk about the origin of Blender, you are dead wrong. We are talking about this orange little dot taking control of our models and modifiers. Let's take our control back and manipulate that little orange shit stain. And you can also of course just support me if you want. Uh, it's down in the description down below. Uh, love you guys. Mwah. When you create a new model inside Blender, you can instantly see that there is also an orange dot down here. So this orange dot is in the middle of the geometry and this is the origin of the model. So now if you scale it up or down, it scales around this origin. Let's say our origin is in another position. So here you can see that this origin is in the middle of this uh, lower face. So if you scale this up or down, you can see that it scales differently than this. And here's another example where the origin is in one of these sides. And you can see again that it scales way differently. So why is this important to know? This is important because if we edit our model inside edit mode, and we might have to move this a bit around or create some extra geometry, then when we want to scale it up or down, it just doesn't do what we want. So this is one of the ways that the origin is actually changing your way of uh, thinking about the model. So now that our origin is not in the right position, we might want to reposition it again. So it's in the middle. It is very simple. The thing that you want to do is you want to go into edit mode, select everything with A, then shift S and do curse to select it. Because you've selected everything in the model and then do curse to select it with shift S, you can see that now your 3D cursor just jumps in the middle of everything. Then what you can do is go outside of edit mode, go to object, set origin, and then origin to 3D cursor. You can also just do select an object, set origin, origin to geometry. And this will instantly snap it to the middle of your geometry. So you can see in object, set origin, you have multiple uh, ways to do this. You can also place your origin in a different position if you want to. So if we select this face here and then we want our origin there, shift S, cursor to select it, go into object mode, object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now our origin is there. So this can be very, very handy. So keep that into mind. So also in modifiers, the origin is very important. So here, let's add a cube. We're gonna scale this up. Now the Z axis, then we're gonna create some extra edge loops in here. And what we're gonna do now is add a modifier and this modifier is going to be the simple deform. So let's just do a simple bend and we can see that now it starts to bend, right? So we have an angle and we can change this, but it bends around the origin. And a lot of modifiers actually do stuff around their origin, as well as the mirror modifier, but we can look later at this. So now if I change the origin to let's say in the top here, shift S, curse to select it, then go outside of edit mode, and then set origin to 3D cursor. Now you can see that this whole modifier acts differently. And now if we change this angle, it goes around this origin. But in a lot of modifiers, we also have the option to change the origin. So I can change the origin to another model. What does this mean? If we add a model, so let's say a cube, you can see that the cube here has its origin. Now we can choose to use the origin of this model in the modifier. So I want to use the origin of this cube so I can just select it. And now you can see that we're using this origin instead of this origin. And yes, you can still animate this if you want. So you can create some very interesting um, animations and just manipulate your models in ways which you might have not thought about before. By the way, you don't have to really add a cube or anything. An empty also has an origin. So a lot of times you see people do this with empties. Okay. So what about the mirror modifier? Well, you might already know that if we have a mirror modifier, so maybe we're going to create a table and then here we need some legs in here. What you can see is that if we put these legs to the side and then scale a bit up, put them down, something like this. It's a very ugly table, but that's it. 
And we want to mirror this, so add mirror modifier. You can see that now it wants to mirror around itself. So it's kind of, because the origin is in the middle, it just duplicates. But if I use this origin, like the origin of the tabletop, then we can see that now it mirrors good around the X axis, right? So X, Y, and Z we don't really need, but the Z will be this. So I hope you guys see the power of understanding the origin and how you can manipulate the origin. And if you don't want to manipulate the origin of your model itself, you can always use other models and use their origin to get some control over your modeling. I hope you guys learned from this and I'll see you guys in the next video.